Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn uh, three different ways, ways that uh, we can use the camera inside of our game. Okay, uh, the first uh, way is not one of the three, but the first way is just uh, move the, the view like this and just uh, push P. If I push P, I can see uh, the game from the point of view that I set, like this. If I move the view, like this, as you can see. But if I make, if I create a execut executable, uh, it doesn't work. In the, ex in the executable, uh, the view is from the camera, okay? So I need to set up correctly the camera if I want to play the game outside Blender. So uh, there are three ways now. Yes, three ways that we can set. Okay, three ways that I know. Maybe you know another one. Three ways uh, that we can use, okay? Three different ways to set up the camera. First one, just uh, a simple pattern, okay? So I can, okay, uh, a quick tip before to start is if I have a camera and if I push zero in the numeric uh, cable uh, I can go to the camera view. But if I have two cameras like this, one or two cameras, if I, if I push one, if I push zero, sorry, I always, I, I will always go to the default camera. And if I want to change the default camera, I have to push control and zero in the numeric uh, cable art. So now, uh, sorry, I have to select the camera that I want to change. Now, this is the default camera, okay? If I push zero, this is the one I have. If I want to change the default camera to this camera, I have to uh, select the new camera and push control zero. Now, this is the default camera, as you can see, okay? Okay, this is the camera that I want, I'm going to use, but, okay? So, uh, the first thing, the first way, I'm going to use a simple pattern, okay? So, I'm going to uh, move the camera to the back, to our character, the back of our character, like this, more or less. Now I'm going to just select the camera and now with the chief press it right click over the cube and I select the default cube. In previous tutorial we learned we have learning how to make this uh, character a working character with a default cube. Okay. So now I have selected the camera and the default cube. I'm going to press Ctrl P and I select object. So now if I move the cube, the uh, camera is moving to. So if I push P now, you can see my character from the back. And if I turn the camera, uh, turn with my character. But this is a, a, a few uh, not real way. It looks like the the environ, environment, the world is talking, not my character. Okay, so I can make a easy at, uh, adjustment, uh, a little correction adjustment to uh, the pattern, and and what I'm going to do is a, a slow pattern. Okay, let's go how it's work. I select the. The camera, I think, the child, the child or the parent object. I think it's the parent object. In this case, the cube. I'm going to try. And I go to this uh, property windows, properties, oops, sorry, properties, and this uh, window two, the object one. And I go here to uh, relation, no, relation, no, here. Relation extras. Now I'm going to click here, slow pattern, and I'm going to set an 
offset. Okay. Hmm. Let's go to dry. I'm going to set to 500. Okay. Let's see what happened. Let's push P. No, it's not working. Because I, uh, I was wrong. I have to make the slow pattern to the child object, not to the uh, daddy, to the father object. So in this case, I have to uh, select, the, select the camera. The camera is the child object and I mark slow pattern. I'm going to set 500. I'm going to push P and let's see what happened. The camera follow my character, but uh, slowly with a, uh, a delay, okay? How much? This is the number in tick, in frames per second. In this case, uh, 500 frames. That uh, the camera needs. This is the time. This is the delay, okay? The time that the camera needs to uh, follow our character. If I set to 50, it's faster, as you can see, but exists a delay, okay? Let's see again, 500, like this. I can see the Mario face, okay? Before the camera uh, reach the back of the character. If I set to zero, it's exactly like a normal parent with no delay, okay? Okay, this is the first way uh, we can use the camera in our game. If I want to, this is a third person view. If I want to do a first person view, a FPS game, it's the same way. I, I just have to put the camera in the right position like this. More or less, let's see. Let's see what happened. In this case, I cannot see the arms because uh, the, the animation of my character is not made that way. But uh, you, you, I think you understand me, okay? I'm going to go back to the third person view. And now uh, we are going to uh, use uh, the second way. Okay, the second way is a vertex pattern. So I'm going to delay the actual parent. Okay. Here in the same windows, property object and property windows. Here in relations, I can see that the camera is parented with the cube uh, dot zero zero one. So I can select this and delete, push enter. And now the camera is not parented anymore, okay? But now I want I want to a vertex parent. Let's see how to do that. I select the cube and I go to edit mode, okay? So now I select the camera, I select the cube, go to edit mode, pressing tab, and when with one vertex, vertex selected, I push Control P and the Blender asks me, make vertex parent. Okay. So now let's see what happened. If I push P again, I can see how Mario, uh, how the camera is falling while, but have this new uh, way of feature or whatever you want to call it. As you can see the camera is not following uh, the local coordinates of Mario, the local orientation. The camera does, doesn't look where Mario look, looks. The camera always look to the same direction, okay? Always follow Mario, the position of Mario, but not that the direction. That's what we get if we use a vertex parent, okay? And the third way, at least, but not at last, or oh, the, it's a, another way, no? The last, but not least, okay. Uh, don't make me, <laughs> don't have sense, sorry. 
Uh, the first way, the first we are going to delay the actual parent, okay? So I select the camera again and I delay again the cube. That's that way, okay? So I know now we are going to use the camera actuator like this. I select the camera. Uh, I remember you that the name of the cube, the default cube is cube uh, dot zero zero one so I select the camera and I'm going to add an let's see better like this and always actuator like this and controller like this and and a camera actuator and the camera actuator makes that the camera follow our character but have a few options. The first one is what uh, object I want to follow. In this case, cube.001. This is the height and the distance, minimum and maximum. Damping is not necessary. I don't really know what damping do. Eight, I'm going to use, for example, five uh, max uh, distance, minimum 10, maximum maximum 15, for example. And let's see what happened. The orientation is important too, but let's see what happened like this. Push zero and like this, okay? The camera go and follow my character, but always try to reach the uh, right orientation, like this, okay? If I change the this axis to here, for example, this is the right one. If I use uh, Y, the, okay, let's see. If I select the cube, you can see the axis, the orientation, okay? If I want to keep the camera in the back of my character, the right orientation is uh, the minus uh, y, negative y, because uh, it's the direction that I want the camera is um, looking at that direction. This axis, this direction, minus uh, y, okay? If I set, for example, this direction, x in the cube, that's, that, that's sorry, I have to set to local, well, it's the same. Direction, local direction of the cube is like this. So the camera go to try to go to the, to see Mario from the side view, like this, okay? So the right one in this case is minus y like this okay and now i have a working following uh, camera it's a slow no have a, a in immediately transition that's how it's work okay if i stop the camera uh, keep moving until the camera reach the right uh, Position and orientation, okay, like this. You can set a different eighth. So the camera uh, has is taller uh, and look um, Mario from the top, okay. If I set a, a slower height, three for example, is looking from the floor, okay. And the distance too. If I set very very low distance like this the camera is very near to the mario to mario to our character and set a high distance higher one like this the camera is far away from mario okay so you can set up these values as you wish in my case i think 10 and 15 is good. And I have uh, another way to make my camera follow my character. And that's all. 
I think you enjoyed the tutorial. I think, uh, I think, uh, sorry. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you can understand my English. And that's all. Thanks for watching.